Hello my friends and welcome back. Thank you very much for being with me again today. As you probably know, the former NBA uh, basketball yeah, player, um, Dennis Rodman, stated that he's gonna go to Russia and save that girl. Uh, that girl being the cannabis girl, who just signed a nine-year contract with uh, the Russian uh, penitentiary uh, team. And uh, Dennis Rodman said, well, I'm going to go and talk to Putin. I know Putin. Putin is cool. I want to go. Now, uh, you got uh, weasels that will think, oh my God, he might go over there. He might re possibly succeed in saving the person that uh, so much is written about and so many people care about, including me, obviously, right? And I never heard of her before this. And I don't even know her last name. Rainer, Reiner, Brittany, something like that. So, uh, was very noble uh, act. Why I say was because he's not going. Rodman does not go. Why? I assume that there were some people who told him uh, you can't go, which is officials, or you better not go, uh, Dennis. And uh, let's see. We have here, he would have embarrassed the diplomats in the United States if he were to go. That's for sure. That's for sure. So one of the articles that I have, uh, it came from um, this morning, and it says U.S. State Department distances itself from Dennis Rodman, from Reuters. It was another article that I <clears throat> discussed um, earlier about the White House not being very happy with what a basketball player said. Now we have the U.S. Department, of course, because if he succeeds, succeeds then it's going to show that Blinkens and all these guys are just uh, trying to uh, mull a situation, you know, try to make it uh, important when a basketball player can solve it, and they can't. And it's going to probably make Putin look good as well. So uh, this is called envy. Not jealousy, it's envy. So envy is you, because of your own inabilities, because your own inabilities, and I'm stressing that, you are envious, you know, and on jealous, envious on someone who can do it. But you understand that you are, um, you understand that you are, limitations and do not want anybody else to shine instead because you're afraid that's going to show you and show the world your lack of abilities i think that's the point here that that's what's going to be that's that's what it is i think so it says here that the greener is her name now we go somewhere to a different article that i have to find here and it says this is from uh, the Grio, from today as well, August 23rd, 2022. Dennis Rodman reverses course, says he's not going to Russia to seek Brittany Greener's release. So, <laughs> during the weekend, the former NBA player reportedly told the news outlet he was going to, and I'm quoting, to Russia to help that girl. All right, I, I think... He had a different uh, word for girl in his brain, but he had to switch it to girl, I guess. So he's not going. He said he reserved course. He, he reversed course soon after the U.S. State Department announced announced that Rodman's trip would not be on behalf of the United States. I don't know if that's why he did it. He he goes over there because he says that he is he knows Putin and they're buddy buddies. What do you want? So it says, Monday, the U.S. government cautioned Rodman not to interfere in Greener case, according to ABC News. So yeah, they threatened him probably with that. Who knows what they find in these guys. So, Ned Price, a State Department spokesperson, told a ABC News during a press briefing that if Rodman did go to Russia, quote-unquote, he would not be traveling on behalf of the U.S. government. I don't need to give a damn. Because when he went to see... What's his name? Uh, King Jong Un in North Korea. He didn't go to represent the uh, United States government or anything. Now, I'm going to go. I'm going to go to 
the most important article that I got, I got to. This comes from The Root, R-O-O-T. Now, this The Root, I think it's an African-American uh, um, newspaper, uh, magazine, something like that. I don't read it. I don't know. But from previous articles, uh, the way they looked at uh, things, uh, through what lens I kind of figure out and I think one time I looked and I think it, it's it's owned by N4. So this this is what they say. This is the title today, August 23rd. Thank God Dennis Rodman is not going to Russia. All right, so let's see this. If you would be, I mean, what these guys wrote over there, the last ones, Thank God Rodman is not going to Russia. That's so stupid. And I will make my point right now. If you would have your daughter, your wife, girlfriend, someone that you love, somehow tangled with a terrorist organization that they got her or him as a hostage, would you, and they are about, I don't know, we're gonna stay with her. We don't know if she's gonna be alive or it's gonna stay nine years at least over there. Now, would you care if Emil goes over there to uh, try to solve the problem? No, I guarantee you. Would you care if Donald Trump goes over there and saves your loved ones? I wouldn't, I don't think you have a problem because the alternative is nine years or death or illness, terminal illness and so on. So that versus no, I don't want, no, no. If the, anyone, anyone that would get my loved one back, I wouldn't mind because I love that person. That is like, I'm gonna use the Bible if you can't believe that. Not the Bible, the scripture. You know, the, the mother with, uh, the, the, the child with the two mothers. I'm just gonna paraphrase the, the whole thing. It was a child and they didn't know who the mother was and blah, 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 and they went to the rabbi or something and uh, the teacher said, okay, uh, what should we do? Who's, who's the mother? Who, wants, who should I give the kids to or something? And then the ra rabbi or the teacher said, okay, how about I cut the kids in, in half and I give you mommy half and I give you half. How about that? That implying that the kid will die. Now, the non-mom said, yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm okay with that. But the mom said, no, you can take it. In this case, you can take it. So she, for the good, the benefit, the good for of the child, she agreed to give it to someone just for the child to stay alive. It didn't matter that it was a criminal actually wanting to cut the kid in two. The same here, the same here. I don't care. Now this root, R-O-O-T, who is an African-American, black, however you wanna call them, they wrote such an article, I didn't read uh, for you the rest, it's enough just the title. That's, this is some people who really want a certain kind of people to go over there and get him. Do, do you like to be a victim? Do you like that woman to stay over there? I don't, she's suffering, she deserves, well, she uh, broke the law, so she has to be penalized. I agree with that. Nine years? No, I disagree with nine years, but penalized by their laws? That's their laws. What do you want to do? I mean, in, uh, for instance, in Israel, you can have weapons. You can carry automatic weapons or in other countries like, uh, I don't know, Afghanistan, for instance. Now try to uh, carry an uh, automatic weapon in the United States or just show it, as I said, at F JFK airport in uh, New York, Long Island or whatever is placed. I don't think it's in Long Island, but anyways, New York. And show over there with a the bazooka with five rockets and say in my country this is legal i don't know who put them over there by the way do you think it's gonna just you're gonna be okay man here it is take it go and do some target practicing in the park no so these guys the last ones are bad people whoever uh, wrote that article bad people they're happy that rodman is not gonna go they want someone else to go or they want the saga to go maybe they move something out of it some you know what i mean money or what or show again some rrr, somewhere here and there let the guy go and if he's gonna do it great fantastic he saved the life no no 
All right. Thank you very much for being with me again today. Stay strong, stay smart, look for the truth, and be just.